If you read the title, you already know what this video is about. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible. Hallelujah. You notice the word holy isn't there. That's because we don't see a lot of that anymore. But the Bible acronyms are basic instructions before leaving this earth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I thank the Father, first of all, for all he's doing in my life, for waking, awakening me in these last and evil wicked days. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Truly, I'm holding on to his unchanging hand. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Messiah. Hallelujah. I first like to say and start off about I'm not going to get caught up in Yah, God, Yahweh, Messiah. I'm talking about the God of heaven, the one that sits on the throne and earth is his footstool. The one that allows us to breathe every day or not. That's the one I'm speaking of. The one in heaven. The one that has hallelujah. The one that has access to the book with our names written in it. In the name of Jesus. So I'm not hung up on names as much as I am knowing who I'm serving. And mostly him knowing me. Hallelujah. I thank the Father today because he has made me whole. He has made me absolutely whole. Whole till I know that the only being I need is him. If the whole world shuts me out and leave me alone, I'm comforted by the Most High Yah. And if I needed people to be there for me, he is righteous and holy to send those two. Even if it's only for a moment, everybody that comes in our life aren't there to stay. It's, but the important thing is that we learn from that opportunity. And I'm thankful that I learned from the opportunity when I once went to Straightway back in 2015, myself and at that time, two children, a single mom. And I'm thankful of the word that was being preached back then. The righteousness and the holiness of the, the example that I didn't see all the way in the churches. I saw a form of godliness at that time. And I would church hop over and over again. Hallelujah. Because I was seeking and I'm still seeking every day. I'm seeking Yah. I'm not even seeking his people anymore because some of them are so wicked. Worse than the Gentiles. But I'm seeking his face every day in the name of Jesus. And I'm thankful for all the people that hurt me, mistreated me. Psalms 109 and 5 says, talks about being rewarded evil for your good and hatred for your love. I tell you what, if you're going to serve the most high God in the kingdom, the Messiah, Jesus Christ, you're going to suffer this. You're going to suffer this. You're going to be hated. You're going to be rewarded evil for your good. Hallelujah. That's part of it. That's part of it. And I embrace it today. Hallelujah. I embrace it. Hallelujah. Because I know whose I am. I know whose hands I remain in. The Bible said no man can pluck you out of his hands. The most high's hands. No one. No pastors. No preachers. No teachers, no elders, no one can pluck you out of the Most High's hands. Hallelujah. I give him honor and glory because he is the King of kings, the Lord of lords. Hallelujah. I want to I talk about today something serious about our souls and how we need to be healed. We need to be healed and delivered and set free. I came out of her. I came from a church one day and I obeyed come out of her, my people. And then I had to come out of her again. I was asked to leave and put out. So y'all even made it easy on me. 
He told them, the pastor to put me out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I'm grateful for what he taught me when he was teaching it. The holiness he taught me when he was living it. I'm thankful for that. I give y'all the honor and the glory for that. Hallelujah. But we're not always meant to stay somewhere we start out at. Many times we read in the Bible, it said, Abraham, get up and leave thy people. Your spiritual brothers and sisters are your people too. Sometimes you got to get away from them. Because nothing going to separate me from the love of Yah. No mother, no father, no sister, brother, nothing. What shall separate me? My partners, my friends, my sisters. Hallelujah. Yah said, come from amongst them. Come out of her. And you got to keep coming out of her. Continue. You might have to leave church at the church, assembly after assembly. Because it's not about following a man or a woman. It's about following the most high Yah. He said, when Jesus left this earth, he said, I'll send you a comforter. That's who's supposed to be leading the guidance. A comforter, the Holy Spirit. Because he knew, according to Proverbs 24 and 16, this is what Yah knows. Proverbs 24 and 16 says, For a just man falleth seven times and rises up again, but the wicked shall fall into mischief. That's what's going on with our people today. We all fall. We all fall fall we have moments of failure where we because we're fleshly but the bible said if you're just righteous holy person you'll get up and continue on repent and re continue on but the wicked man that fell remains down there in the in the mari and clay the wicked man remains wicked and wax worse as the bible speaks of they don't get up and do better because they enjoy the darkness more than they enjoy light. This has been going on from the beginning. Hallelujah. If Satan, which was once a righteous angel before the father, can become wicked and fall and be done away in heaven, how much more us? We ain't even seen the heaven yet. We ain't even seen the kingdom yet. How much more are we able to fall? Satan was in the kingdom. And because of his pride. Because he want to be as high as the most high Yah. Because of his non-humility. He, he didn't have any humility. He wanted to be praised. He wanted people over. And he took a third of the angels with him too. Just like some of these pastors. They got people following them into wickedness. You, this is a person's walk. You have one soul. I've given the churches and assemblies many thousands of dollars. But you can't have my soul in Jesus' name. All right? That ain't for sale. Never. You only have one soul. I don't have a soul to split with you in the name of Jesus. I have one. And it belongs to the Most High Yah. My soul. My honor belongs to the most high. Hallelujah. Remember who you are, brothers and sisters. Wake up from your slumber. Hallelujah. I'm thankful that I've come out of her the first time. And I was able to come out of her again. Hallelujah. I was thrown out. But y'all did me that favor. Because I was seeking his face. I was praying. I was saying, Father, this don't look like your sheep anymore. I'm not in green pastures anymore. Oh, hallelujah. Lead and guide me into all truth and righteousness, Father. And there came a voice as I was sitting, watching a YouTube channel. Don't come back. Hallelujah. For a certain amount of time. But Yah said, you know, he has the last call in my life, the beginning, the first and the last. He didn't send me back in the name of Jesus. 
because he told me to come out of her again. And I'm grateful. I'm grateful that my eyes are not blinded because the Bible said it, the blind lead the blind and they both fall into the ditch. But I'm so grateful that the father helped me. And it's not, I'm not putting anyone down because that's not how we're supposed to be. I'm not trying to shame anyone because that's not what the father's will is to do. It's to call us back to him. It's to, for us to wake up from our sleep and slumber. Satan has deceived us. Jesus, the Messiah, had to even pray for Peter. Peter, Satan desires to sift you as wheat. But I pray that your faith fell of not. How many of y'all faith is failing? Your faith is fun. You don't believe in the most high like you used to. You don't trust in him like you used to. You putting your trust in a man. The Bible says you're cursed when you do this. Hallelujah. I love all my brothers and sisters in the most high Yah. And I pray that you're all striving. In the name of Jesus, I pray you're striving. Hallelujah. But I just want to give my thanks and my praise. And, and to encourage you, remember from which you came from. Hallelujah. Remember from where the Father has brought you from. Hallelujah. Truly, when I was in the church, I didn't know to actually follow the Bible with a sincere heart, truly following everything in his word. Searching the scriptures, doing as 2 Timothy 2.15 tells me to do, study to show myself approved unto God. A workman needed not be ashamed. Hallelujah. Rightly dividing the word of truth. Rightly. This truth got to be divided rightly. Hallelujah. I'm thankful that I understood that. That he's taught me in time to understand that scripture. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, for his word. I just want to encourage everyone. Hallelujah. Check your spirit. Check and see, have you fallen? And are you getting back up or have you fallen into mischief? There's an answer for that, too. In second, second Chronicles 714 tells us to repent, turn, seek the father's face again. He didn't leave you. You left him. Was it for women, money, fame? There is nothing in this world. There's nothing in this world that's worth me losing my only soul. Nothing. You can have it. I know his words that he'll supply me according to his riches and glory. All my needs. If I only get my needs met, I'm grateful. As long as my name is not blotted out of the book of life. I'm thankful. You can have your fame, your fortune, your riches in silver and gold. But I'd rather have Jesus. I'd rather have him in my life. Because this world is coming to a place. It ain't even going to be any peace here anymore. And the only one that's going to have peace is the one that's holding on to him. Not a man, not a woman. But unto the most high Yah, we are the only ones going to be left with peace. Come out of her again in the name of Jesus. Keep on coming. If you can't, the Bible says, you which are spiritual, restore such a one. Restore such a one. When you see your brother and sister has fallen, we're supposed to help restore them. We're not supposed to sit and wallow down in the mire and clay with them. The only way we do that, not restore our brothers and sisters when we see they have fallen, is if we're wicked ourselves. So we don't want to see them get up because we're probably afraid that they're going to rebuke us when they get back and walk righteous before the most high. So instead, you just sit down with your brother, your sister, and let them be wicked. Let their lives be in jeopardy. Let their lives be in jeopardy of a burning fire hell forever. You don't love your brothers and sisters. 
when you do that? If I have to lose a friend to say they so, I'm going to choose losing a friend because that's what y'all would want me to do. He would want me to choose to save their soul if possible. Some men are so far gone in women that it ain't even no restoring. The Bible talks of this over in Hebrews. Talks about they can't even be restored. It's almost impossible. I don't want that to be said about me. It's a scary thing to fall into the hands of Yah. I pray that somebody was encouraged through this video to run this race. For it's not given to the fast or swift, but to the one who endures until the end. You ain't, we ain't got to endure with no men and no women. We got to endure with the most high in this world. We got to endure circumstances, issues, problems, hurts. We got to endure as a good soldier. The Bible talks about suffering for righteousness sake, not as evildoers. I, I'm, I'm rejoicing today because I'm not suffering because I'm doing people wrong. Because I'm mistreating my brothers and sisters. The Bible says the righteous is bold as a lion. But the wicked fleeth when no man pursueth. Hallelujah. I'm thankful. And I say that with all pride, no pride, and all humility. Hallelujah. I say it with all humility that I'm thankful to the Father for what he's doing in my life and from all the people that he separated me from that are not of his. It says to be not equally yoked. So it's not a surprise to me when people start to put you out of their company. It talks about that in Luke 6, 22 and 23. It told me to rejoice. And I'm rejoicing. I pray that you are all taking your walk seriously with the Most High Yah because the King truly is coming.